Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing this item right here. This is a UV sterilizer, and I bought it recently related to the COVID-19 situation so that I could sterilize some items that are coming into my home. I recently did a video, and if you want to check it out, there's a link up here that you can click on, uh, and that video was about packages. If you order anything from Amazon or anywhere else and it comes to your home, that package has been touched by a lot of hands, and you don't know the health status of the person attached to those hands. So uh, for situations like that, you can use bleach solution, you can use soap, you want to clean things up, and you want to do that in a clean manner. Again, check out the video if you want to check, uh, you know, learn more about that. But there are some things you really can't wash, like envelopes, paper mail that's coming to you. You try to wash that, it's just going to turn into mush. So I got this for those types of items, and I want to talk about it in this video. But before I do, there is one other channel that I want to mention, and there are a lot of great preparedness channels that are out there, and there's a lot of new people uh, that are coming to preparedness right now because they're, they're concerned about the COVID-19 situation. And I know that that has certainly been the case for me, and uh, there have been a lot of fam family members who you know, they know that I'm into preparedness. They know that I've been doing this for a while. So right now they're saying, you know, what do I need to do? What should I be stocking up on? You know, you know, give me some guidance here. And, you know, I'll, I'll generally, you know, I'll always give people guidance. But one thing that I always do is I direct them specifically to this one channel because I know that there's just a lot of really great information there. It's not inflammatory. It's good quality information. It's not going to scare you. It's going to inform you. Uh, again, there's a lot of great prepping channels out there. But this one in particular, I've been directing a lot of people to. And it is run by a Canadian vegan prepping nurse. <laughs> and uh, his uh, channel name is Hoople's Cat. I'm going to put a link in the description down below if you want to check him out. If you are concerned about the COVID-19 situation, you want to know what to do, he is an excellent resource. I would highly recommend his channel. But first, let's uh, talk about this before you leave. Don't leave. <laughs> uh, I've found this to be very useful uh, so far. It seems to be working. I'm going to be running a test um, you know, for the effectiveness using these Petri dishes with agar in the bottom of it. That's not going to be an instant thing. You'll have to come back to see the results on that. But there are signs that it's really working quite well. And it's very uh, simple to use. Uh, by the way, if, if you're interested in this uh, you know, at the end of the video, and I, I would really highly recommend it. I've, I felt that it's been a great asset. I've got links in the description down below to this specific one. You don't have to buy this specific one. There's all sorts of different ones that you can get, but I, I've been using this one. The price seemed good. The reviews on it seemed good, and I've had really good, uh, a really good experience with it. I'm just going to run through what I do when I get mail. The first thing I do is, uh, you know, I'm doing it right now. I'm touching my eye. I consider the mail to be, you know, potentially contaminated. The moment I get it out of the mailbox, I pull it out of the mailbox. I have wipes. I, well, I use these wipes, I get my hands wiped down, I take the, this and I put it that into a secure bag where the inside of the bag is dirty and I put it down in the uh, bottom of my car. Now my mailbox is about two miles away from my house, so it's a car ride to get back. Once I get back, uh, I leave it in the car and I come in and I, I, I kind of set up this area right here. First, I turn this unit on. It has an on-off switch to even have it powered. I've got it running into a kilowatt um, you know, power meter. If you're concerned about how much you know, electricity it's consuming, I, I can show you how, you know, how much uh, power this thing draws, and it's not very much. Uh, the next thing I do is I leave the door open, because when I, I come in and I grab this stuff, my hands are going to be contaminated. The less things that I am touching after that point, you know, the better. So I take the mail, and if I have a lot of it, I'll put you know, one piece up on the top and then I'll kind of uh, stack some of it, uh, the rest on the bottom, or if it's a lot of large things, I'll leave some in the, in the bag as I, you know, do it and I'll do it like a couple pieces at a time because you want to let the light really uh, surround the mail. Uh, there's a light bulb up at the top and there's all these mirrored surfaces on the side. So we're just going to do this one. You place it in there and uh, uh, after that, you know, I, I would use like my clean hand to close the unit up. And again, my clean hand to uh, to activate it. There's a little switch here that turns it on. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop pretending that this hand's dirty because it's not at this point. It's easier to use this hand. Uh, there's a switch here that uh, uh, turn, both turns it on and sets a timer. And I hit it once and it'll give me five minutes. I hit it again, another five, another five. I usually do 15 minute cycles uh, on the mail. I think that's it seems like that's sort of the consensus. 15 minutes of you know, strong UV exposure is going to sanitize things. Uh, and you want to leave it closed through the entire cycle. They've got black on the front, although strangely they've got their logo here like cut through. You, don't, you really don't want to look at intense UV light, light like this. I've been thinking about putting a piece of black duct tape across these little 
you know, decorative holes they have on the front. But anyway, you want to leave it in there for the full 15 minute cycle or, you know, you could, this one can go up to an hour, an hour long cycle. Uh, this thing is drawing six watts of power, so it's fairly low uh, energy consumption. Uh, and once it is done with its, uh, it, with its cycle, what it's going to do is just going to turn itself off and you want to leave it in there because the ultraviolet light is creating ozone inside the box and ozone is another way of sanitizing things. So uh, once the cycle finishes, the entire box is kind of filled with ozone and you just kind of let it sit there and let the stuff s steep in it, uh, you know, to put it that way. I'm going to turn it off right now because that mail's already been sanitized. Uh, and you just let it steep in there and that seems to do a pretty good job. Uh, but I haven't done an actual test. I know the ozone is getting generated. I know the science on UV light, but I want to do a test also with you guys. And that is what I'm going to be doing right here. If you want to see the results of this test, uh, you can go, if there's a link up here right now, it means that I've already done the test and you can check it out. If there's not a link, just wait and come back and you know, the link will be ready when these are ready. It'll be a couple days, a uh, couple of Petri dishes with agar in the bottom of them and we're gonna, we're gonna infect these and put one of them in here for a 15 minute cycle. I can already smell the ozone uh, coming out of there, so it's already, it's already doing that. Uh, we're gonna in, uh, sanitize one of these and the other one I'm just gonna keep in a, a cool, dark place. So here we go, take both lids off. And uh, you know, the human mouth is the dirtiest thing in the world, isn't it? They say that it's like even more dirty than a dog's mouth. I don't know if that's just an urban legend, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> So there it is, Ugh. I'm spreading my infection. I just touched the agar, I don't know if I want to lick this hand again. <laughs> well, you know, it's apples and oranges. I really should use the same hand. Okay, I'm gonna lick the same hand again, even though I just touched the agar. I can kind of taste the agar. Okay, so I've got three fingerprints in both of these places and I'll unhygienically just wipe that on my pants. And one of these I am going to just set aside. And with this one, I'm gonna place it in here. Uh, top shelf, close it up, turn it on, and we'll do a 15 minute cycle. And there it goes. So I'm gonna let this run. And like I said, there'll be a link uh, you know, up here. Uh, you know, once this experiment's done, I'll share with you guys you know, whether this one was really sterilized and whether or not you know, there's a real difference between the two. Uh, just based on my research and the fact that it's creating ozone, it seems like you know, this is a really U intense UV light and it is going to sterilize that. But you know, it's always good to test things out. So that's it. If you're looking for one of these, again, uh, there's a, a link down in the description below. I noticed that th there's starting to be a run on these so you know you may want to get one sooner than later if you think you might want to uh, buy one uh, someone had mentioned that they were trying to grab one and the, like the, they were finding that a lot of them were sold out so you know we're kind of getting on the edge of these things being available but uh, you know if there are still some available link down below you can check it out that's it good luck and thanks for watching this episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.